Welcome to the Rodney O'Hepsian Show. I am Rodney O'Hepsian. I spend a lot of time on the internet, and as you might imagine, I come across a lot of debates. And after a while, you really learn a lot about the really the essential nature of these debates, especially when they involve someone whose views don't really make much sense. They're just really out there. The person might be informed, he might be intelligent, but at the end of the day, he, he has some sort of views that they don't make sense. I, I guess they're pretty ridiculous from the standpoint of truth, and it's pretty evident. If that's the case, if he's formed those views, he's held on to them, he's presented them, he's supported them, that's it. Those are his views. Your counter-argument is not going to change anything. If you actually think that presenting some data, presenting an argument, a line of reasoning, all that is going to change his opinion, if you think it's going to be convincing to that person, you need to ask yourself why. We're human beings. It's not all about what makes sense. I don't care if you're dealing with a scientist. I don't care if you're dealing with a guy who's educated, who has multiple degrees in this and that. He's a man of the world. He's experienced. It doesn't matter. That's the way people are. As far as I know, that's the way they're going to be. That's the way I am. That's the way you are. You think your line of reasoning is going to make a difference? If you tell this guy that, no, you're mistaken. That's not the case. This is the case. You think that's going to make a difference? You think that's going to convince him? I don't know about that. It might convince someone else listening to everything who's reading it on the internet, someone who's reading through your debates. But it's not going to convince the person you're actually debating. I don't think so. Because again, they're not reasonable views to begin with. You have to factor in how and why he formed and retained those views in the first place. And why he presented them. And you have to consider the fact that he did present them. So, you know, he'll want to appear consistent. Uh, I guess, to some extent, his pride will make him resistant to changing them. I mean, that's an oversimplification. There's a lot to it. But again, you have to consider how the guy's a human being. And how he ended up having those views in the first place. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to pretend that I know what might change that person. I have some ideas about, generally speaking, what might lead to that. I won't get into it right now, but don't expect him to change just because you're trying to broaden his mind and present the bigger picture and show how what he's saying is based on a one-sided view of the world, the creative interpretations, and so on. That's, that's it. The guy, you know, his mind is made up. There are other factors in play. And again, if you don't account for all of that, You're not being sensible. It's you. You're the one who's not being sensible. Don't look at him. Don't focus in on how he should change. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't go, oh, you know what? This guy's, I can't believe this guy has those views. I need to change them. No, no, no. What the hell? No, let me just show. Let me tell him what's what. No, no. Don't focus in on that. If you want to focus in on anything, it's what you should do. The attitude you should have. Be a little more understanding. At the end of the day, People are reasonable and unreasonable. And I don't mean people in general. I mean any individual. That includes Einstein. That includes the president. That includes me. That includes you. Everyone. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it is. It's not all about being right and forming and holding the correct views. Anyone who says that, I don't know. That's not a reasonable view right there. So yeah, I think I'm right. Am I right about this one? I could be. I don't know everything. I like to think I know some things. Hopefully, a lot of what I just said is in fact right. All right. You know what? Just forget everything I said from the very beginning. You have to argue with people. And you have to believe that you can change their mind. That's, you got to do that. It will change their mind. If it, if it isn't changing their mind, it's because you don't believe enough. Start believing. And even if it's not going to convince them and you know it isn't, do it anyways. Because that's part of being human. That's part of being human. Believing you can convince them, that's also part of being human. You have to do all of it. So forget everything from the beginning. All right? So again, this is Rodney O'Hepsian signing off.